Oh, and he writes. You're goddamn right. Boy, sure you didn't leave no trails here. No, I've been doing this too long. You too. All right then. We may not have been active for a little while, but that doesn't matter. A couple of years ago, when our agency was shutting down, I jokingly said. We would return when and if the moment required it. Well, amigos, that moment is now. What about the agency? Forget about the agency. They're long gone, my friend. Besides, their methods never align with us. So, what's the job? So here's what's happening with Roman. One of his office spaces is being investigated for large amounts of liquid cash. And I got word, good word, on good authority, that that money is being moved to one of his warehouses tonight. So here's what we're gonna do. So I put my Boy Scout training to good use and went around in case to join yesterday. Roman is going to be laying low in the hopes that his ass doesn't get beaten by the authorities. The Iron Hammer is going to come down hard on him if he doesn't. So he's going to be hiding out somewhere. Not at the office. His personal security is not going to be there. I think we start here. But the skies is, bin men maybe, work our way around. Shouldn't be too many problems. We've done this before. We're professionals. Walk around, quick in and out. It is a flawless plan. So how much are we talking? 12 million? How the hell is this going to be a walk in the park? If you know, others why. Security will be locked down tight. In the jungle, a lion, tiger, and leopard go out to hunt. The deer will run for its life. But if the sun sets by then, its fate is decided by nature. Mm -hmm. If it wants to make the next day, 
It will fight for its life. It will run faster than it ever has before. But in this jungle of ours, this world that we operate within, when, where, who will watch the next sunrise and sunset? Who will survive to see another day? Hug their family, tell everybody that they love them. That is not decided by Mother Nature. No, that is in our hands. We call these shots, not somebody else. If we want to see another day, we will fight for our lives. Nobody is going to be backing us. And most importantly, rules, regulations, what people tell us to do, they don't apply to us. We're exempt. You follow that? Well, let's do this then. Well, I guess this is my baby. See, this, this is mine, man. You know, I, I, I can see where you got the, the bit of confusion from, but that in the bag, that was yours. You love it. Did you get up and you miss it or something? I think it sums you up perfectly, man. You love pink. Aren't your favorite movie was like Pretty Woman or something? <laughs> You'd never change. I know, all habits die hard, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. So where's Brian? Says he prefers to travel alone. He says more covert. Stand the wraps. If all three of us travel together, they're more likely to notice the three suspicious looking bin men. So, uh, yeah, he, he's taking the bus. So I figure, like we say, me, Brian, get in there. You as the hot shot hacker, break through all the doors we need to, break it safe. A quick in and out. We'll be here when we get back. Sound good? Good. Fantastic. Where's this guy? Once upon a time, there lived a ghost. He to be a killer and feared the most. Ye tumare marne ka waqt hai, kutte. Once upon a time, 
Chame el trasero. basically to create suspense, I guess you could call it. Well, listen, I'm not too sure about this, Mr. Sharm. I mean, you've got literal main character suddenly disappearing from the plot, a random third one that shows up out of nowhere, and in between all of this, you've got the men in masks speaking Urdu. I mean, I should have just accepted the Fast and Furious 23 scripts. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, what? No, you don't get it, all right? You don't get it. You're old school. It's fine. Films these days, they're not really about the plot. You can throw the plot in the bin over there. Yeah, no one cares about the plot, but the audience, all they're here for these days are the cool explosions, the fight scene, you know, the cool car chases and stuff. Obviously, I don't have the budget for that, but uh, yeah, and then guns that go bang, right? Right? They get it. It's fine. Trust me, Mr. Producer, I got this. I haven't won three Oscars for nothing. You were nominated for two, and the other one was for best sound. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Still counts. And the point is, I will deliver an absolute cinematic masterpiece that the audience will definitely love. I mean, look, listen, they're probably enjoying this right now. So, there's that. Mm, okay, well let's do this, but I'm warning you, if this fails, you'll have to go back to making films for Warner Brothers. Oh, no, 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 no. Casting, have you got anyone in mind? Okay. <laughs> the juicy bit. You're probably wondering, I'm gonna say someone like Chris Evans, uh, Brad Pitt, or even Tom Holland, that new kid. But um, quite frankly, I'm done messing with these inexperienced low levels. I'm not gonna go there anymore, and I'm ready to step it to the next level, if I'm being honest with you. Mm, okay. Are you familiar with THE Matthew Howell? Absolutely, let's go with him. Of course. Are you familiar with Oliver Lake? Barry Scott. Yes, and yes. Are you familiar with Ollie Cook? No. Oh, wait. Just, that, that's the name of the cleaner outside. Uh, he, he, he resembled the face of an actor, so... I have to go with him. Well, no, alright. Let's get started with that show next week. I'll do what's needed to, so good luck with the Amazing. Let's do this. Oh wait, Mr. Sharma, do you have a title for this film?